Hello, it's Senior Classic Games. It's now 1988. Here in Australia, it's the bicentennial of British colonisation and we're getting a big new Parliament House opened by the Queen, who's about halfway through her reign. In America, uh, Ronald Reagan retires and uh, George H.W. Bush, the Vice President, becomes President. And in the way of games, this is what we have. Uh, the Annals of Rome. Now, starting the recording confused it a bit. Let's see. Uh, let's say new. Okay, we're in a new game. So, on our crude map of the Mediterranean, uh, Italy with the archways on it is where we're starting out because this is, as you see up there, 273 BC. And the first turn goes up to 259. So it's early in the time of the Roman Republic. We've got Gauls to the north, the Carthaginian Empire to the south, an Egyptian Empire, a Seleucid one. And our population, you can see on the right, is 676 units. And we have 60 legions at the start. No auxiliaries or limitani yet. Limitani are defensive troops. Auxiliaries are foreign troops fighting for Rome. Uh, the treasury has naught and the popularity of the current leader or leaders because we're in Republican times is the maximum five. Let's uh, give a tax rate now. Uh, let's start low. Um, just put in one unit and what we have now in the bottom half of the screen are surrounding areas or the most significant areas. So we can see that there are other uh, empires and countries with more money than us because the uh, Roman treasury is 738. Higher population and some with more uh, armies. But uh, we have the legionaries who are a superior kind of troop. Here are our personnel. Three of them just recently died in this turn from natural causes. Causes We uh, haven't given anyone a promotion yet from the rank of senator. Now the numbers uh, take Julius Antoninus at the top, or Antonius. Uh, no, he, the number five means his skill in leading troops, so that's the maximum. Three is his loyalty to the ruling group of senators that uh, I'm controlling. And he's age 55. Now, uh, it'll ask me how much to bribe the troops with. This means extra above their normal pay. And it's only a necessary thing when there's an indication that one of these leaders is planning to revolt and lead his troops against Rome. So I just press enter on that. Who commands in Rome? Well, let's find someone both good and loyal. Uh, the best person there is Aulus Flavius. Skill 5, loyalty 5, and he's quite young, so he should last some time, especially as a defending commander in Rome. So I'll hit F. And now the game will go through each of the regions uh, running what they choose to do in this turn. 
uh, saying the Phrygians are, Phrygians are invading Cappadocia. Now you can see that towards the northeast of the map, you can see that figure of a horse on a rider showing there's troops on the move there. But that's a sort of an advance warning of what's happening this turn. Now, the Gauls are invading Italy. You see where, uh, just to the northwest, that zone there, which is the Alps, uh, has the white triangle on it that shows where the invasion is coming from. So they're invading from the north. Let's press another key. And it says, my commander is Flavius. The Gauls had 22 units of their kind of troops, whereas uh, I had 51 legions, or Flavius had 51 legions. So uh, the victory goes to us. We won a victory against the Gauls who now have no troops. And there's a lot of flickering on the map as the AI takes care of other things. Now, the Carthaginians are invading Italy too. They're coming apparently from Sicily that they already control. And we have a victory over the Carthaginians with a loss of one legion. And now it's the turn of Italy to act. So... Uh, that's giving me an idea of troops in nearby uh, regions. Uh, the Alps, Sardinia, Sicily and Greece are the only regions that I can invade directly. So that's what those headings are. Um, now, looks like the lowest uh, troops that I would have to fight against they're in the Alps, and the Gauls and the Carthaginians have already attacked me. Uh, I could attack the Carthaginians in uh, Sardinia. Um, in Sicily, uh, there's 28 troops, and looking at the cross-hatching on it, um, the Macedonians have taken it. They came across from, from Greece and they've still got a big force there which is likely to invade me next turn. But they've left only four units over in Greece. But with that bigger army of theirs moving around, I won't attack them. I'm going to choose the Gauls as my first enemy to attack and I'm going to try and take and hold uh, the Alps. So I'll type AL. Which legate? Okay, who's going to lead these troops up north? Um, <coughs> Flavius is my home commander. You can see the last digit on the column to the right is the, their rank. So we've got one commander and a whole lot of uh, senators. So let's go to the top. Let's go uh, Antonius for Legate and a Tribune to back him up and to keep an eye on him. I'll send Brutus. And you can send multiple Tribunes, but I'll press Enter now. How many Legionaries to send? Now, there's that army of 28 coming up. Um, I don't know their relative strength, uh, you know, the skill of their troops compared to mine, uh, but I will send uh, a decent force north because there'll be counter attacks. So I'm going to split the army almost equally into offensive and defences. Uh, I'll send 20 into the Alps. Who commands? Um, Legate Antonius, A. Eh? Okay, I won. Um, I defeated three units of Gauls. Uh, now the reason why um, 
if you look on the map there, the reason it says a number three in the Alps, whereas I've got 19 legions there, is it calculates the troops on a much larger unit on the map, just so that it can fit the numbers uh, onto the map graphic. So press key to continue and everything else invades. Now yeah, the Carthaginians are attacking again, this time from Sardinia. And I won, losing one of my 25 uh, defensive legions. The Gauls are counter-attacking in the Alps. And they're coming from southern France there, where the triangle is. And I won again. Uh, lost two legions, but defeated 15 units of Gauls. And that's the end of that turn, because it's come back to where we were when we started. <coughs> so I hit C to continue, enter, tax rate, still keeping it low. I plundered uh, 738 uh, whatever the unit of cash is um, during that battle because that's what my treasury's gone up to. Keep the tax rate low and this is the starting position for the new turn. Uh, <coughs> and I still have the Macedonians They've got Sicily, Carthaginians and Gauls. Press key. Now, uh, my um, second in command in the Alps died from natural causes, causes and so did uh, Geminus Cotta in, uh, back home in Italy. But my Home commander, Aulus Flavius, is now 37 years old, going fine. But I need a reshuffle of personnel. If I'm going to roll on further with those troops in the Alps, I need someone to command the troops that I leave behind, even if I use the same commander to attack. So I will send, um, let's see, uh, I'll post him to which region, Alps, who do you wish to go to Alps? You know, there's a new person B who is a 55, uh, so let's go B, let's move them. And nobody else. Who commands in Alps? I'll leave A, who's, I won't demote him. Officers don't like being demoted, makes them more likely to rebel. Posting to which region? No more. Right, how much to the troops? None again. Who commands in Rome? Still Aulus Flavius, F. Okay, Numidians invading Mauritania. That means the Carthaginian Empire has rebels. And now, um, the Gauls in Belgica are invading the Alps. And we won, so we repelled them. Uh, I think that I will not split that force up. I mean, in map terms, it's a force of two. Uh, obviously, the Gauls' largest force is going to be in Gallica itself, which is um, Western France. Uh, so, Macedonians attack, invading Italia from Sicily. I won, lost two units. 
Macedonians invading Italia from Macedonia and Greece. Whoa, didn't win every battle. Um, first battle was a victory. Uh, took out seven of their 13 troops, lost only two of mine. But the Macedonians won the second battle. Uh, didn't They didn't lose any, I lost two. But two of the senators involved in the defence, uh, not my commander, but two others, Drusus and Crassus, were both killed in the battle. Um, and then a third battle... Uh, the Macedonians are down to five. Uh, I'm down to 42. Now, I'm not sure if it's, this is going to wrap around and do more. Uh, that was the end of the Macedonian campaign. Uh, now, Italy is now blue, which means there's unresolved conflict there. Um, not all the Macedonian troops are dead. Uh, despite the two battles to one that I managed a victory in. Um, <coughs> now, the Gauls are invading Alps from southern France. Commander Antonius. Not sure why it's telling me that at the moment. Oh, this is asking me if I want to move anyone from Alps. But I didn't really pick up the result of that invasion from southern France. Um, obviously, I still control the region. Uh, and I'm not moving anyone from there. I'm just going to go. I mean, if you look at Gaul proper, they've got 10 units. And they haven't attacked yet. So... Do nothing with the Alps troops. And here's Italy again. Uh, do I want to make another attack from Italy? Uh, or do I want to back up the uh, Alps troops? Um, in terms of the tables, I've got 14 units. Um, No, I'll leave it as is. And I'm not going to fight a war on two fronts. Commander Flavius. Yeah. Gauls invading Alps from Gaul itself again this time. And I beat them. Eight. They lost their eight and I didn't lose anything. Okay. And everyone else has their turn. And um, looks like the Macedonians have been kicked out because uh, Italy's back under. Oh, that's what, I, what that showing of the commander was. Uh, because I didn't move any troops from Italy, at that time it resolved the battle with the rest of the Macedonians successfully. Now, uh, the pale blue, uh, solid blue areas have unresolved fights in them. So you just got GR for Greece without saying who controls it because nobody does. And Hibernia, Spain in other words, is another one. Um, and it looks like the Gauls are getting invaded by other people besides me. Continue. Tax rate one. Looks like I lost money this time because I'm down to 400 in the treasury. Right. Uh, one retired, two killed by Macedonians, one died from natural causes. Uh, I still have two commanders in the Alps, which is good enough. And uh, all the rest of the senators you know, can act as officers when Italy is invaded. 
So I have nothing to do here. How much to the troops? No. Who commands in Rome? All the Flavius is now 40. Right, Numidians invading Mauritania again, down in Africa. Carthaginians invading in Italy from uh, Sicily again. Or oh, the Macedonians it was before, but uh, obviously the Carthaginians have taken Sicily from the Macedonians. Commander Flavius. Carthaginians invading Italia again from uh, Sardinia. Victory. Do I want to see it's, it's random order which way the uh, the regions come up? Uh, I have 52 troops now, so I am getting more without having to specifically go in and recruit them. Uh, and over time, in the Alps and any other territory I capture, the place will become Romanized. And at first, I'll recruit auxiliaries, but then I can start recruiting uh, legions eventually. Uh, from conquered territory, not just from Italy. Again, I have the option to back up uh, the Alps or counter-attack in one of the other surrounding areas. Again, I only want to have a war on one front. I'll rely on uh, Italy being hard to invade from the sea. Uh, but if I want to push further, I really ought to send some more troops to the Alps. So, AL, uh, Leggett will be still Commander Antonius. Oh, he's... Uh, didn't like that because he's already there. It seems like reinforcements have to be led by someone new. Uh, Let's have number E, Africanus. I think that should say Africanus, like Scipio Africanus. Uh, e. Tribune. I, let's see if I have to have another tribune. No, I don't. Legionaries. Um, I think 30 is enough to leave at home. Who commands? Well, it's still talking about the reinforcements. So the new legate is Afrianus. Okay, I hope that's what it meant. Otherwise, my previous commander in the Alps is going to be pissed off. Now, the Celtiberians. Um, a mixture of Celts and Iberians. Uh, who have apparently broken away from Gaul. Uh, they're the ones attacking the Alps now. Press any key to continue. Uh, victory. Even though they had a fairly substantial force, I didn't leave, didn't lose any legions. Now, the Alps. I now have 36. So, do I want to press further? Um, you know, the Celtiberians, uh, obviously they're already hostile to me. Um, there seems to be a revolt in Belgica uh, because it's still unresolved. And that's probably why there's no number. Like the column that's headed by BE, it won't tell me how many troops there are. Um, so, choices, choices. Uh, I can, of course, try to knock off the Gauls' capital. Uh, if I do, uh, according to the rules of the game, all Gallic troops will have to 
uh, try to counterattack and take it back. Um, I'm so curious to see what's happening in Belgica. So, uh, BE, which leg it? Um, uh, Afrianus is there as a commander. Um, I'll give it to Antonius. I mean, he was the, the, the victorious attacking commander before. Which Tribune? Uh, yeah, Brutus can follow, follow on. Uh, yeah, that makes him a Tribune. Um, no more Tribunes. Legionaries. Okay. Let's go 20. Who commands? Antonius. And have a vi I have a victory over both Gauls and Celts who were fighting it out uh, for that region. So now I possess three. Now I think that's enough to demonstrate the expansion phase. Uh, now this game kind of follows history in that when the right year comes along, masses of troops arrive from Germany uh, or from Parthia and so on. Um, and sometimes you would have to move your capital from Italy to avoid getting wiped out completely. Um, historically you'd move it to Byzantium or Constantinople. And you just try to survive for as long as possible because you'll then, in Byzantium, you'll be attacked by a large number of Turks. So it's a matter of whether you can do better than the Romans did in history. But the other big function, which will take me too long to demonstrate, is when your regime back home gets unpopular and troops... Uh, or commanders rather, in somewhere like Belgica there, just say uh, Antonius decided he'd do a better job of ruling as either as a dictator or later as an emperor, and he bring, raises his troops in revolt and uh, takes them back to Italy. Now, you can either resist him in a civil war or... If things are really bad back home and you want to strengthen Rome and he's got good troops, he's a good leader, etc., you let him win. You let him walk in and uh, take Rome as historical figures like Marius and Sulla did and uh, eventually, of course, Julius Caesar. So that's 1988's Annals of Rome. And I think I played that for a long time back in that year. And I think I have another 1988 game next time. Um, forgotten what it is just for the moment. So uh, see you next time.